In this video, I'm going to answer one of the most commonly asked questions uh, that we get, and it's how to build your trading capital. Hi guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm gonna answer one of the most commonly asked questions uh, that we get, and it's how to build your trading capital. Now, this is pretty straightforward because of it's not gonna miraculously appear. Okay, trading funds aren't gonna miraculously appear. Now, one thing that you must understand do not try to flip a hundred or a 500 pound account into 10,000 pound. Okay, it's just, it's not gonna happen. Not in the flip aspect, okay? You can build your account slowly, and that's what I would advise you to do. If that's all you have to actually invest into a trading account at the start, then use that to learn, to build your, your strategy, build your consistency, and build your psychological mindset. So you're building your long-term uh, tool for when you have the capital. Now, to get the capital, number one advice is to create a plan from your monthly salary. How much you can save a week? How much you can save a month? Then either put that into the trading account, or put that into a, a, the separate bank account, which is your trading funds. If you want to carry on on the small account whilst you're practicing and you just want to build a pot of money, if for the meantime, to then obviously put into the trading account when you have a substantial amount, then you can do that. Or just keep topping up your small trading account so that you're getting used to trading with bigger funds as it continues to grow. Number two, if you have the time, get a second job, okay? It has to be done. If you want the capital, then get another job. As simple as that, that could be your trading fund job to be able to build the capital. Who knows, that second job may build you an extra 15 or 20,000 pound a year, and that's an extra, if you did that for two, three years, don't get me, to remember this, trade, it's not a sprint. You're here for the long run. So if that 15,000 a year, you did that for three years and you saved every penny of it, you could actually have 45,000 for your trading account. Okay, yeah, you may have to pay taxes on the money, etc. cetera, um, but this is in hindsight, okay? So these are just answers to the questions of how you build your capital, okay? Um, another one, stop buying the stuff that you don't need. If you stop buying the stuff that you don't need, and for example, if I was going to buy a new laptop, new MacBook, because I want the best one, because I want to be able to show that off that I've got the best one. Instead of buying that MacBook, save that 1,000 or 1,500 pound and put that exact amount in that bank account or in your trading account, okay? Use the money that you're going to spend on that stuff. If you really, really need it, then of course you have to buy it. But you can buy a normal T-shirt rather than a Vinci t-shirt. You see, go with the more sensible option, which is gonna help you in the long run, okay? Use that money, that use the value that you was gonna spend on that item and put that exact same value in your trading account, okay? Do you really need the latest, do you really need the latest headphones? Do you? Do you really need the most expensive phone bill? Which goes on to another point, Cut down any of your direct debits, which really that you don't need. Have a look through your bank statement. Highlight things that you're spending money on that you don't actually need. Another example, how much do you spend going out? How much do you spend at the pub with your friends? How much do you spend on meals eating out? Cook at home. Have your friends round. There's other alternatives to doing these things. So these are ways which you're able to build trading capital yourself. However, you could actually, whilst you're building that small account and you're building your consistency, you could then 
in the long run, look for investment capital. Okay, I wouldn't wait on just the hope of getting some investment capital, but these are just answers to the question of how do you build trading capital? It's not gonna miraculously appear. Okay, so I wanted to just answer this for you and just give you some ideas. Okay, stop going out on Friday nights. Have your friends round. Instead of going to the pub and paying five pound for a pint, which I believe that's what it is now, and you can buy some cans of beer and have your friends round, which will probably cost you a lot less. Yeah, instead of going out for a meal, cook a meal. Okay, instead of having a phone bill which costs you £78 a month, have a SIM only deal which costs you £12 a month. Do things which is going to help you for the long run. Remember guys, it is not a sprint, it's a marathon. And that is very important. You're here to build your trading account to trade and generate funds for the future. It's not about flipping an account to have money now. Okay, so I really hope this video has explained to you ways in which you can build your trading capital.